I'm Steph Strickland with Geek Wire Studios here at AWS reInvent 2024, and we are about to talk about agility in this era of digital transformation, and especially with a focus on AI. I'd like to introduce you right now to our two guests. We're joined by Nidhi Shivastava, the VP and Head of AI Cloud Offerings at Tata Consultancy Services, as well as Sandeep Singh, the Head of AI Cloud America. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, thank you for having us. A conference like this really showcases uh, the important work that TCS does in this space. I want to talk about Gen AI. Uh, everyone's still talking about it, and now it is at the forefront of so many enterprises in enabling their transformation. So how can TCS really help improve what we're starting to see as the market trend to rapid accelerated adoption of this? Uh, we have um, uh, a very well laid out uh, stance and strategy. And it uh, begins uh, with the fundamental belief that uh, AI transformations will be industry-led. And uh, uh, the second thing is that to be able to reimagine the industry or the business, it's very important to look at the value chain or the process, the business process. And then be able to identify uh, key personas or stakeholders that play in that business process and look for AI infusion for that persona. So it takes a very human-centric approach to AI and that makes it a lot more consumable. It also um, helps in driving the change management that is coming within uh, initiative that is as transformative as uh, Gen AI has become. So uh, our uh, uh, experience uh, with uh, these three pillars, which is look at the industry, look at the business capability or the value chain, and third, look for key stakeholders or actors that will be reimagined from a, their uh, operating model and ways of working standpoint as uh, the drivers for change. I do love that you still mention something as um, you know, when we're talking about generative AI in the space, we're thinking in ones and zeros, and yet ultimately it is people powered. So I find that interesting. From your perspective, is there anything you'd like to add to that, Cindy? Yeah, so I think, um, you know, building on what Nidhi talked about, uh, one of the way we are looking at uh, generative AI, especially scaling it across enterprises, is how do we do day-to-day -day stuff, you know, much better with Gen AI. Now, there are three ways of looking at it. We are looking at you know, how Gen AI can be uh, good in assisting you. So there's assist way of uh, using it. There is augment way of doing it, where now with the agents coming in, you can start outsourcing some of your tasks to uh, Gen AI. And then the third way is where end-to-end -end value chains will get reimagined with Transform. What we are starting to see, uh, and since we are at uh, reInvent, a lot of announcements being made yesterday and day before are leaning towards how you can start using such, you know, technologies like Q in your day-to-day -day stuff. Um, I'm, I'm uh, you know, so excited to see how Q can be used for uh, something as simple as a data center migration, uh, or you know, code generation, for example, is becoming so much easier with more advancement in Q. So it's very exciting time to be in, and uh, you know, we are excited, customers are excited, so it's, it's awesome. Well, since we're here, how has the partnership progressed between TCS and AWS? Uh, we have a tremendous uh, partnership with AWS. It's really grown mm -hmm. uh, by leaps and bounds over the last uh, few years. And uh, it is uh, really built on uh, very, very strong collaboration and sponsorship that comes from uh, leadership teams on both sides. Uh, and uh, as an example, um, this year at reInvent, we were recognized as the global consulting partner for data and analytics. And just recognizing how important data is uh, to uh, transformation today, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a good validation of the capabilities and the investments that we have made in this partnership. Uh, it's just been, um, a great journey and uh, we have also uh, launched a program called Program Neo. It's a exclusive strategic program uh, that will help our clients in driving their modernization journey and agenda. And uh, here uh, we get the best of AWS 
uh, in terms of the platform, the infrastructure, and the best of TCS in terms of industry knowledge, insight, uh, contextual knowledge and depth uh, come together to serve our clients. Congratulations on those recognitions and the benchmarks that you achieved. I do want to ask you, what does this mean for helping enterprise scale? How, how does this help your customers, this partnership, at the, as the end users? Yeah, so in a big way, uh, Program Neo, for example, that we've talked about, when we uh, did, a, did a round table yesterday with uh, almost like 20, 20 plus customers, and when all of them looked at, you know, what are their problems, and they're all, you know, uh, customers who are from different industries, there is the oil and gas people, there is the banking people, there is the retailers, and uh, when they talked about their problems in terms of enterprise modernization and, and adopting cloud and Gen AI at scale, all of the problems were same, or very similar. Legacy, people, process, and uh, so when we looked at that and when we uh, you know, were trying to tell them about program Neo, it became an easy sell because Neo addresses all of that. And so uh, I think uh, the way we are seeing customers now ready for that big leap into at scale adoption of uh, cloud and Gen AI and AI technologies in general, Program Neo along with AWS is going to be a huge accelerator for us. I, I definitely agree based on everything I've read. Uh, I'd like to ask you finally, what I'm seeing in the space right now is a bit of a have and a have not. So you have companies that are at the forefront of adoption who are rapidly um, accelerating in the space and other companies who are still a bit hesitant. Are there any takeaways you can offer for the companies that are still sitting on the fringes uh, watching as we're starting to see people really lean into this space in the C-suite? So um, I'll share a couple of uh, thoughts and then I'll have Sandeep also chime in over here. So uh, number one um, is uh, that uh, uh, the Gen AI and the AI transformation is here to stay and it's for real. Uh, it's not going to go away. So uh, I think for the companies that are on the fringes, I would uh, uh, encourage them to uh, look for uh, First and foremost, uh, simple uh, use cases. Uh, I say this primarily because the art of possible from technology is proven. It's for change management. Get your people comfortable working with assistants, agents, because many times uh, we, we we look at technology as the big problem or, or you know, big, uh, driver for change, but we do not pay enough attention to change management, people-related issues. So there's a lot of pushback uh, that comes from people in adopting AI. And we've not spent enough time uh, really weighing in the problem or trying to solve it. So, so start simple, but do start. Because it will take time for your people to come along. The second thing I will say is either look for a function or a business process. So it could be IT, HR, supply chain as an example of a function, or it could be marketing uh, uh, as an example of a process area that you would like to transform. Pick a few use cases, but then stay focused on that process area to get the real value. A few use cases here and there prove and deliver nothing. And sometimes that also gets in the way of adoption. And uh, last but not the least, you have to prepare your people and you have to prepare for the talent gap which is there for you and uh, so you know invest on in training so th those are some of the key things i would suggest upskilling for sure sandeep your thoughts yeah so uh generative ai is such an exciting space to be in exciting also because um, every other day there is a new announcement coming there is new advancement happening right in the field so um, what, we are, uh, what we would like to say to the people who have not yet taken the full plunge is, hey, you have a better technology now, right? So use that. Um, so that's, that definitely helps because, uh, like I was saying, uh, when we met the customers, when they heard about the new advancements in Amazon Q, for example, Q for business, now it's, it's make, making it more real for them because Q has tested the waters, right? When, they, when we showed all the demos, et cetera, it shows as a very mature solution. People who adopted Q a year ago or whatever, right, as they uh, started doing it, they also have an edge, but then they have to now look at how do I expand it, how do I scale it, 
and some of the things that Nidhi talked about in terms of you know people process, same old people process technology, right? Look at how do you address all of these, uh, you know, in enterprise scaling is what they are doing. But I do feel that, and everybody, all almost all customers uh, agreed, whether you're on the cloud, not on the cloud, on the Gen AI, not on the Gen AI, uh, there is something tech debt, right, which is always going to be there. So how do you keep abreast, you know, as close as possible to the latest and greatest is what the whole uh, fight is all about. So we are again, like I said, very excited to be in this journey with our customers and, uh, you know, lots, lots to do in next year with all these announcements. I look forward to speaking with you again next year. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Thank you very much, Sandeep Nidhi. It's been an absolute pleasure. Likewise. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Steph Strickland. You're watching GeekWire Studios.